Hello everybody, welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com in conjunction with phillyisugly.com which is a little time lapse project I've been shooting here over the course of the summer of 2013 and you can check out that project at phillyisugly.com and let me know what you think, it'd be cool if you stopped by and watched it. But anyway, I've been doing a series of all these different behind the scenes videos and just kind of sharing the process that I've used to create the film. Uh, nothing that's too terribly advanced, but maybe some stuff that you'll find interesting. Maybe if you've never used this stuff before or aren't a video pro like myself, uh, you'll find this stuff useful. And I'm just going to share with you exactly how I've done all this stuff. And today we're going to be covering exporting video from Premiere Pro and kind of how I exported the video that I shot. And you can see, uh, well, the, the time-lapse film that I shot, really, um, I didn't shoot video. It was all individual images. But it's been cropped down. These images have been cropped down to a very strange size, 2,580 pixels wide by 1080 pixels tall. So it's not your standard 16 to 9 ratio, 1920 by 1080, which is very easy to export. This is a little different. We have to do something a little different, and we're going to run over that. However, before we do that, I'm going to zoom out on my timeline here, and I'm going to grab Grab my soundtrack, which is massive, and I'm going to shrink it back until it clicks to the end of my uh, video track there. And by the way, if you're dragging something on your timeline and it's not snapping, it's because snapping is shut off. So you want to just click on that little uh, magnet there and turn the snapping back on, and you'll click, drop right into place. So Premiere Pro is going to export everything that you have selected here from this golden handle to this golden handle. That is what Premiere Pro is going to export when you go ahead and export a video clip. So now that we know that, we've got our stuff selected here. Great. And by the way, you can just see it's a very simple clip, just two video clips. And we've got our clips changing here when the music goes ahead and changes uh, for us as well. So a very simple clip, nothing uh, too crazy fancy or anything like that. We're going to go File, Export, Export Media. Now you can see here in the preview, it's a 16 to 9 ratio, not at all what we want because we're going to have these black bars on the top and bottom. Uh, no, 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 we don't want that. So we're going to choose, our, our format is going to be QuickTime, not H.264, not MPEG-4, we want QuickTime. And the preset, you can just leave it at the standard, whatever it is, 720p, that's fine. We're going to change that here in just a moment. The video codec, this is very, very important. We want to choose for our video codec, Photo JPEG. That's what we want. Codec settings, you can go ahead and change them if you want. Optimize for online streaming. I'm not going to change any of that junk. We're going to scroll down here. And here's what's important. We want to change the width and height. The quality anywhere from 75 to 90 is going to be really good. Um, so something like that would be great for you. Now, when you come in, the default is going to be uh, 1280 by 720 because it's 720p, in fact. So we want to change the width to 2580. However, the problem is, remember I told you the height is 1080? Right? This makes the height 1451, and we still have those black bars. No good. So what we need to do is unlink our width and height. So these it's not forcing that proportion. When we do that, we can set the height to 1080. And there we go. We have our video clip right at the size we want it to be, 24 frames per second on the frame rate. Beautiful. And uh, that's pretty much it. The data rate's going to be limited to 6,000 kbps, which is fine. And uh, we can go ahead and then export this. Actually, before we do that, you can go ahead and select the output name and choose where you want to save this. I'm going to save it into this folder. You can name the sequence anything you want, just you know, V1, right? So for version one, save, and then go ahead and hit export. And uh, Premiere is going to do its thing and say, hey, look, here's how many minutes I've got left to export, 26, you know, 30, whatever, 30, 35 seconds, maybe probably two minutes by the time it's all done. And you will have your video clip exported. In fact, if you want to hang around, I'll pause the video and we can check out the finished video clip when it exports. And it's almost done. And you can see just like that, you will have a video clip exported. And if I go back to my files here, there we go, v1.mov. I'm going to right click, open with QuickTime Player. We're going to have a nice large video 
And I'm going to set it to about half size so it's easy for you guys to see. Maybe I'll make it a little bit larger. Why not? Just because we can. And then I'm going to play it. We can check out the quality. And we hear the soundtrack coming in. That's great. Oh, it's, it's slowing down. It's freezing up. Well, it works. We know that. Uh, well, let's just see here. See if we can get it to play a little smoothly. So there we go. Cool. So we can see that it works. Everything looks good. Uh, it's very smooth. The quality is high. The video file is uh, it's fairly large, uh, but that's all right. It's because we had the the quality for our photo JPEG uh, codec right up around 90, which is maybe a little bit high, but hey, it's all right. Better to have more quality than less. Um, but just you know. Find, try to find that happy balance between very great quality and great uh, file size as well. So that's it. That's how I exported my uh, videos for this film from Premiere Pro. Hope you picked up a thing or two. Thanks for sticking around and watching it. Make sure you go check out the website. That's www.tutvid.com for more free video tutorials. And while you're at it, go check out phillyisugly.com and check out the finished product, uh, the finished film, uh, which I used a lot of these techniques to put together. So that's it, guys. Thanks for sticking around, and I will catch you later.